Good morning. Morning. Today is day three in Dublin and we are heading out and about. So come with us after breakfast at the Queen of Hearts as we explore more of Dublin. Are you happy, Phil? Mmm, looks nice. Looks like a great breakfast, better than the one we had the other day. How quaint is that teacup? Oh, thank you very much. I just got the cinnamon scroll because I felt like I didn't need anything big after the massive meals we had yesterday. inside Temple Bar. Come back the next day while it's empty. So we've got the shots last night of the pub being full with um, the musos going. And today we are just taking it all in. It's really big actually. Mm, it's hefty from the outside. It is. Toilets always seem to be downstairs in pubs. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. More bars in the Temple Bar area. Oh wow. <laughs> Have a look, eh? Yeah. They open, are they? Uh, I think so. This sweet shop calling my name. Grew up on rock, love rock. At Dublin Castle. Basically, we're just doing circles everywhere at the moment. Oh, only because we went to Temple Bar first and we wanted to go there, so. Yeah. We had to circle back. The other thing, too, about going to Temple Bar was yes. Yeah. We did both get oh, scarves. <laughs> this is the Polish church. Thank you. Thank you. Just had a really nice guy ask if we wanted to help film, but we he was working, so we let yeah. him go. We are at the Teeling Distillery. What are we doing, Phil? Go taste some whiskey. Yeah, sure. What time? I thought that was Lego, but it's not. It's the north and the south of the bin. And this zone here is quite famous. So this whiskey, it's our small batch. I like to say it's like a tingling on your lips, like a spiciness. What did you think? The whiskey. Mm -hmm. Good. And one of the treats. Sweet. It's quite sweet. I could actually drink that cocktail. Just entered St. Patrick's Cathedral and when I be able to sit down I'll tell you a story about St. Patrick. This stone was found six foot below the original site of St. Patrick's well. This is a statue of St. Patrick. Did you know that St. Patrick used the clover to share the gospel or explain Christianity to the king of the time when he asked if he could come into Ireland? According to legend, the St. Patrick's Well was actually here and it is rumoured that 1500 years ago in this spot St. Patrick 
was baptising believers. The floor of St Patrick's Cathedral, absolutely stunning. Who are you, John Phil? Dorcas. Dorcas is one of the women out of the Bible. And we've also figured out how to do it properly. So if you come to St Patrick's Cathedral and you want to do a brass etching, you lift the frame to hold your paper in place and you'll get a much better rendition. 10th or 11th century cross slab. Handwritten sermons by... Francis Corbett. The Door of Reconciliation. I've never heard this saying, but there's a saying that came from this door called Chancharam. In 1492, two squabbling families um, came here and made peace. And from there, one of them put their hand through the hole in the door, the other one shook their hand, and from there came the saying Chancharam. Check it out. Flags. The Tree of Remembrance. Since 1492, organists have been climbing this staircase to make their way to the organ. This is St Patrick's Park next to St Patrick's Cathedral. We're inside the Brazen Head, Ireland's oldest pub of lunch. Phil's first taste of seafood chowder. Obviously, I'm not going to do this one because I don't eat seafood. Yep. Got cabbage and bacon with a parsley sauce and veg. Look how thick that bacon is. I'm not going to be able to taste this in video, but. What I've tasted, very nice. Outside of the brazen head. the Hay Penny Bridge. You just have to pay half a penny to get across the River Lethe. The Hay Penny Bridge. More of the River Lethe. This is O'Connell Street. Yes, the main drag of Dublin. One of our final destinations. I know it's not great weather for it, but that's the spire. We've just entered the GPO Museum. This is the museum looking at the 1916 rising, the beginning of social reform in Ireland. Rising started in 1916. We're here on a wet afternoon out the front of the GPO where we've just come from the GPO Museum. This wraps up our time here in Dublin. It does. We're gonna head back to the motel, hotel, have a chill, get warm, it's and then find some dinner. Had a good time? Very good time. So join us next time as we start on the road trip around Ireland and discover a little bit more. You like being sorted, eh? Why don't you like and subscribe? And as always, thanks for joining us. Travel smoothly. Bye. Bye.